I got sick of online trolls saying that India has no toilet and that Indians defecate out in the open. So I took you guys around Delhi and I showed you the reality here in India that in fact India has a ton of toilets, over 97 million to be precise. But then people came along and they started telling me, Carl, you got it all wrong. They started quoting me these outdated facts, figures and TED talks and told me that in fact rural Indians People living in the villages are the ones who don't have toilets and are defecating out in the open. So, we're gonna go to two different villages in two different states here in India, and I'm gonna show you the reality of toilets in villages. And you are gonna be quite shocked at the reality. Now, we've chosen this first village at total random. The second village we'll go to is my wife's village in Rajasthan. मेरे पास एक सवाल आप लोग के लिए है ठीक है तो आपका घर में शौचालय है सब लोग हाँ जी सबके घर में है सबके घर में टॉयलेट है पहले जैसे शौचालय नहीं होते थे गांव में अब लेकिन हर घर में बन गए हैं तो उससे आपके लिए क्या बदला देखो साफ सफाई रहती है पहले लोग बाहर जाना पड़ता था अब ठीक है गर्मी जाना पड़ता है लेडीज वो भी बाहर जाती है सुविधा होगी सुविधा का ठीक है थैंक यू Thank you, bye, Danyavad. Manu, so are, are you surprised by their answers? Because these are just random villages we found. We haven't gone and looked for anybody, right? They've come to us. Yeah, completely random village, but I'm not surprised because I have been visiting villages and every time I went back to Delhi, um, even I was shocked at what people think of villages. It's very, it's a very outdated idea. Huh. Villages have changed rapidly and I have seen my cousins using uh, internet here in villages and they're on WhatsApp, they're on Facebook and everything. And we just started filming and we've already been surrounded by villagers, so we've got a lot of people to talk to. We're gonna go and check out their toilets and see what they have to say about toilets here in India. And I should tell you, Haryana is my second home after, after Delhi and I, I love being here and meeting all the warm and jolly Haryanvi people. So yeah, let's go do this toilet review now. We're at the first house now to see a toilet. Chalo, let's do this. So yeah, aapka so chale hai na? ठीक है, चल, चल। और वॉशिंग मशीन है? वाह, ये एडवांस्ड है। We have gathered a gang of the entire village because they are so proud of the toilet situation here and what Swatch Bharat has done for them. It is so cool. And this is, you know, not the fanciest village. We chose this village at total random, actually. But this is a very, very traditional village. And we're here at the next house now. Let's see what they got. So here we've got the lotus. We've got the chula again for cooking food. The cow dung down here. This is using the chula as basically an uh, uh, energy source. And we come along to the washing room in here. And then of course, they have their toilet as well. And again, they even got a washing machine. They don't have to wash outside anymore. You know, they don't have to do it themselves manually. It's amazing. I, did, I didn't know that, right? Everyone's got a washing machine here too. It's crazy. So, you that time when there were no toilets in the village, what was the problem? And now what was the problem? At that time, there was a lot of difficulty. People would go outside and go to the toilet. There were a lot of problems in the village. There were a lot of problems in the village. There were a lot of और इसके बाद में जब मॉडर्न जमाना है यहाँ पर हर घर में हर एक हर एक घर में टॉयलेट हैं इसकी वजह से यहाँ पे बीमारियों की बीमारी बहुत कम हुई है और लोगों को दिक्कत का सामना नहीं करना पड़ता है और ये जो सरकार ने जो मुहिम चलाई है स्वच्छ भारत के तहत इसके तहत यहाँ पर हर गांव में टॉयलेट बन चुके हैं और इसकी वजह से यहाँ पर हमारे माता बहनाओं को ज़्यादा दिक्कत का सामना नहीं करना पड़ता ओके एंड जस्ट कैन बस्ट इन दीज पीपल्स हाउसेज एंड शो यू देर टॉयलेट इज वाउस देर इज राइट देर एवरीबडीज got a toilet here. This one's got a built-in flush. There you go, and of course you've got the gas machine and the cart, and they just sleep in these rooms here with their, with their cooler as well. Oh, and you have a, your buffalo. Buffaloes are very, very important here. Here he is, two buffaloes. Very good, this is where the village's milk comes from, their dahi comes from, sorry, the yogurt. And, oh yeah, bohut sunday, you know? Guy. This beautiful tree they have in their little, their little gal here to shelter the cow. And oh yeah, so the, the water comes from 
They have their own wells here in the villages too. So that's where the water's coming from down there. Awesome. And they, they just throw a bucket down and, and pick it up. Haryana has actually been open defecation free since 2017. They've built 1.7 million toilets in the last few years. So everybody here has a toilet. The situation in the villages is not what you think. And actually the, Har the Haryanvi government, they took it a step further. They played this Akshay Kuma movie, Toilet Ek Prem Kata, in every village here. And this, this created some really, really cool things. So this one village, they said you can't marry your daughter to a family which doesn't have a toilet. This was inspired by that movie. So they're trying to change the perception that it's not dirty to have a toilet inside your house and that in fact it's clean to do that. And a big part of this has been Narendra Modi's Swachh Bharat campaign. While wielding a broom in his hand, the Prime Minister launched the country's biggest ever cleanliness drive today on Gandhi Jayanti, saying that the Swachh Bharat campaign is beyond politics. He has been able to change the attitudes and ideas and traditions in a place like Haryana, which is extremely traditional. So I gotta say good going to Narendra Modi for that. It's an amazing job he's done with Swachh Bharat in the last few years. I freaking love being in the village. It is just such a, such a pure and just such a relaxing and yeah, beautiful place to be in an Indian village. It's the way we all used to live, right? Like so simply and yeah, it's like heaven being here. So lucky that I get access to this kind of stuff. He's angry at me. What happened? I didn't do anything. Yeah, I'll check out, eh? Out. 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 The sheep in the background and the Out. Yeah. Okay, say hey, bache. Bye. Ram Ram. Bye. <laughs> Bye. 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 Chalo. Yes, on there. We just crossed the border from Haryana into Rajasthan, and I'm lucky in that my wife's mum is from Rajasthan and her father is from Haryana. So I get to spend a lot of time in these two incredible states and in beautiful villages like this in, in Rajasthan here. So right now we're gonna go, we're gonna go and visit the village head and we're gonna ask him what's changed in Rajasthan in the last few years. And then we'll go and meet some of the beautiful people here in this village. All right, we found a local. We're going to go and check out. Whoa, nearly fell. We're going to go check out his toilet now. That's one of the weirdest things I've probably ever said in my life. Going to check out people's toilets, but this is the fight the trolls remember. Check it out. Now this is a proper village toilet in here. And this is a hara right here next to the toilet. This is where they cook the food for the animals. It's the animal's kitchen basically because everybody in this village has a base, has a buffalo or a cow and that's where the milk comes from. So you've got to feed them. So they get their own kitchen. The animals in these villages are basically gods. They provide all the feed for everybody in the village. Without them, you don't got milk here. There's no mother dairy, okay? Chal. Let's go to the next house. Let's go check out one more, okay? You guys excited to get the point, right? The toilet situation in villages is not what you think. It is so much, so much better. Ram Ram Ji. Do you have any Yeah, we have. Let me show What a beautiful house. I love the blue. It's like Jodhpur here, right? Chalo, so here is the toilet. They've got the beautiful porcelain bowl built into the concrete here. Another simple, simple room here in Rajasthan. Danya Vaji, thank you. Hello Venu, look who's, look who's crashed the set. Venu Kese, Chalo Venu. Gar jayenge. So what do you guys think about that? How proud people are to have their bathrooms and how they'll just show them like that and yeah, and maybe it's not what you guys expected, right? It's not what you expected to see all these, these toilets in these villages and people so proud of what they have. And I think it's because so many people have this misconception that 
the villages, it's, that it's dirtier, that they don't have toilets, that they defecate in the open, but it's, it's just not true. Life here is beautiful and simple. We have found, hello, we have found the village here, we found his dog, and of course, we found his camel. Let's go and ask him a few questions. Ram Ram Ji, how are you? Ram Ram. In the past few years, there has been a lot of change in our past few years. There has been a lot of toilets in the past few years. There has been a lot of toilets in the past few years. There has been a lot of toilets in I'm here filming with Manu today. She's been helping on this video. Manu, there's a lot of misconceptions besides just toilets about villages, right? Like, what else are people thinking about villages that's wrong? A lot of things. Whenever they think of a village, they think everybody in a village is poor. Mm. And they just want to sympathize with them. But that's not true. People here drive cars, they have mobile phones, they have access to internet, they have medical facilities, and they have clean air. And um, <laughs> the cleanliness... The, the clean air is a big one. Like, look how blue the sky is. I know. And there's, there's a lot of things that villages have and cities don't. Just like, you know, the other way around. Uh -huh. Yeah, you have less McDonald's, like, less KFC. Which is good. <laughs> <laughs> and we have food coming from the cage, right? Like food organic. coming from organic food coming from the farm that we're eating here. It's not so McDonald's. In, in many ways, the quality of life is better in villages as well. It's not like cities have everything and villages lack everything. It's not black and white like that. This is another video, but people think villages are slums. And how no, they are not. No. <laughs> Their yeah. houses are way bigger than ours. <laughs> So that's the reality here in the villages. Rural Indians aren't defecating out in the open no matter what you read online. And in fact, India is gonna become open defecation free this year. There are some states that are lagging behind, but in general, like Haryana and like Rajasthan, most states are already open defecation free and they're working on becoming open defecation free. Plus, they're working on the next goal for the Swachh Bharat campaign. And yeah, there'll always be the exception to the rule, right? There'll always be somebody who gets caught like doing their business on the railroad track or doing their business somewhere else where they shouldn't be. That's going to happen in a population of like 1.4 billion people, right? But in general, Indians aren't defecating out in the open. This is a lie and a fallacy. And if you guys want to support the content that I create, if you love my channel and you want me to be able to keep dedicating my life to making videos here in incredible India, please hit that join button. Jai Hind.